That weeping bell is still wandering around like crazy. Anyways, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Last time we explored Route 13 and got over here to Route 12. Man, this thing is going over like crazy. I'm kind of just like allured by the fact that Weeping Bell is just all the way out here, away from the grass. You know, let's see how long it takes for it to actually uh, go away. But uh, anyways, today guys, today... We are going to be exploring said Route 12. And, okay, now it's going back to the spot. No one's going to follow me! Ah! I'm just kidding. Today, guys, we are going to be exploring Route 12. And I cannot believe I got through that. Awakening. Cool. Awaken my true strength, you know. I wonder if this guy's going to be a trainer if he's just going to give me something. I bet you he's a trainer. Let's see. He is a trainer. Electricity is my specialty, so I don't know a thing about uh, the Pokemon of the sea. Well, I mean, you should be able to know, considering the fact that electric-type moves are indeed super effective on water-type Pokemon. Ooh, an Electabuzz. That's interesting. Electabuzz is a Pokemon that we have no access to at all, which is kind of interesting. Uh, well, we will have access to it, but just not for a super long time. Um, you're gonna use an electric type boost probably, so I'm gonna switch over to Roxanne. And just be like, hey, man, be careful, dude. Doink. Oh. Oh, okay. Really? Swift? Uh, okay, do whichever one, whatever makes you happy, I guess. I guess you don't have any other moves on it, I guess. I'm surprised that you didn't use something like, oh, like, Thunder Punch on you, which I know Electabuzz is very well known for using is Thunder Punch. Oh, what? Oh, okay, whatever. Unplugged. Yeah, I certainly unplugged you. I unplugged your knowledge, or lack thereof, with how to raise the Electabuzz properly, I guess. Or maybe you just didn't feel like using it. Waterstone for free right there for the taking if you didn't want to buy at the sell it on department store, which I don't know why you wouldn't. Hey, excuse me, dude, I want to fight you. There you go. I'm searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? Yes, indeed, I have found one. It was like all the way back in Mount Moon. Why don't you go ahead and go there? Oh, wait, you can't because you don't have anything to surf and you probably don't know how to fly or anything like that. I mean, you guess you can because, you know... Uh, people can learn these sky up moves, right? 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 I guess? Uh. CI beam! Cool. Down goes the baby Nidorina, or Nidoran male, that's what I was trying to say. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, speaking of, Nidorino! Nidorino, no! Uh, oh. Oh. No. I don't know what I was trying to do with that there. Trying to do my Captain Hold impression. Toxic? Man, like, why is that every time I run into something that is poison, wants to run toxic? And half the time it's either like Weezing or Nidorino these days. Come on, man. Well, we are going to come back across a gym that's known for doing that. You'll, you know, exactly which poke which gym it is I'm talking about. But that's just not going to be for a while now, is it? I knew you could do it! I knew it! Camper Chester was defeated! 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 With their big bulging eyes! Fear my almighty bulging eyes! Excuse me. I hope that didn't pop up on recording if that, was, if that was the case. Then, oh, man, that would have been awkward. I don't have any antidotes on me, so I guess I'll have to use a full heal. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so with, I want to show you something really cool, because now we got Sea Skin from that guy in Fusion City with the Lapras. The Secret Technique Sea Skin. Check this out. Woo! Look at that. We're Eevee and we're rolling down on the water. Oh, that is so awesome. So now we have the ability to skim across water, which is, you know, surf, but we're in a super cool way of doing it. Uh, I don't think there are any, like, areas around here where we can just use items 
or like little spots to collect items. But we do have access to some cool new Pokemon under our belt, which is pretty rad. If I can actually run into a Pokemon. I'm, I know I saw a Pokemon earlier. We could just like totally skip this area if we so wanted to. And yep, there's a sleeping Snorlax right there for the taking. No items here. Interesting. Well, there actually there is an item right over here. And, well, there's a Magikarp there, so hey! If you want to catch a Magikarp, you can! And, consider the fact that you're in level range of catching... You're in level range of being able to, um... Evolve into Gyarados around these levels, so hey! Free Gyarados level up right there for the taking, and it just does not want to stay into my scrawny little Ultra Ball. Not, that was a weak-ass throw! I'm not gonna lie right there. Come on! Get in there, dude! Magikarp is bigger than I thought it would be. Thank you. So there you go. You got yourself a free Magikarp right there. Well, actually, no. The one that you got from the dude was actually a lot more free. Taco is now level 43. Speaking of three. It's huge. Perfect. Well, that wasn't really the Pokemon that I was trying to show it off, really. There's actually another Pokemon here. TM24X Scissor. Well, we already have a Pokemon that can use X Scissor anyways, but if you want that, it's pretty reliable. X Scissor doesn't have any other additional side effects. It's just solid damage. Hey, there we go. Cute little Seedra. Or oh, not, not Seedra, a horse. That's what I was trying to do. Whoa, hey, dude, uh, you need to uh, calm down there. Uh, we're going to use a Nana Bear just to, you know, uh, calm me down. Boom. Alright. Now, cute little horsey right over here. It's not a bad Pokemon by any stretch of the imaginations. Its stats, once evolved, are pretty decent for the most part. Though I will say that they are easily outclassed. Its evolved form, Seedra, can also be found here, uh, just a lot rarer. But they can learn a lot of water and poison type moves if that interests you. And especially so, uh, dragon type moves as well, once you get the chance to teach a dragon type moves. So at least has nice type coverage right there. Again, it's not a particularly spectacular Pokemon out there. It is an absolute horrible shame that it has no access to Kingdra in this game. But hey, if it's something that piques your interest, you know, might as well go ahead and pick it up. Again, Seedra is a lot rarer, but if you do find it, it's at a pretty decent level. And it's probably the better option for you if you just don't want to go with the box or Horsey. Even though it can pretty much already evolve around the levels that you catch it at, which is pretty nice. Uh, speaking of other you reliable Pokemon out there, we've got Tentacool. And it's evolved for Tentacruel, which is just a lot rarer. Water and Poison is actually a lot more of a reliable type than people would automatically assume to begin with, because it's- oh, speaking of, there's Tentacruel right there. Because Water and Poison just has so many reliable resistances, and with the fact that Fairy is now within our belts, as a uh, common type that has a hard time dealing with half the time. Uh, yeah, that's also another reliable option there too. Um, again, Tentacruel is a lot rarer, but they are very reliable special walls and also has some pretty decent speed and reliable offenses too. I would pretty much already use Toxic on this one, lay down a water move, maybe a poise, Poison Jab or Sludge Bomb if you get the chance, and whatever else you could possibly teach it. Definitely not supersonic, though that is kind of a bit of an option if you wanted. Still looking for a water type? This is actually one of the better options out there. I'm not going for this one because, well, if I have a poison type and I already have a water type. Well, if that's something that piques your interest, hey, might as well go ahead and pick one up, right? Hey, do you know what catch combos are? If you keep catching the same species of Pokemon over and over, you'll have a better chance of meeting a really strong one. You don't say, eh? That'll also increase the chances of you running into shiny Pokemon. Which I think an NPC has already mentioned that earlier. Uh, I, I, who in the world am I? Ah, it's no use, I can't remember anything. Hmm? Do you think you could tell me who I might be? Uh, Mr. Dazzling, maybe? The move deleter, maybe? On the move deleter? Could that be? No, no, this doesn't feel right. Oh, I guess you're not. 
Are you there, Mr. Dazzling? <gasps> My Mr. Dazzling? That sounds like a wonderful ring to it. Mr. Dazzling, you must be right. I'm Mr. Dazzling. Well, you remember? You help me remember, so here. But yeah, TM32 Dazzling Gleam this way, which is kind of funny. Dazzling Gleam is a very nice fairy type move to have, as it hits both opponents in a double battle. Though double battles are pretty rare in this case. Uh, I don't think any of my Pokemon can actually learn this move. Uh, yeah, no one can. But it's still a very nice move. It's 80 power, and it's special. So hey, if you want it, go right ahead and get it. It's also a reliable move if you're racing something like Clefable, or even better, Alola Ninetales, which is peak for Ninetales. Can you talk to me, please? What's biting? You never know what you can catch. Um, sorry, dude, but that comes off kind of weird, especially when you're in that weird pose. Ah! Tentacool! Hey, I was just talking about you, how you're very good, reliable, special wall, and does decent damage too. So hey, like I said, Tentacle is a very nice Pokemon. I do like this po Pokemon family quite a bit. So hey, go right ahead and pick one up if you so wish. Ah, uh, Confusion. See, look, look how well it took that uh, uh, side beam despite not being fully evolved yet. Poison Jab. Yep. Yep, yep. There it is. And of course I get poisoned. Um, I don't believe Venishock is a move in this game. Uh, it's a poison type move that does double damage when you're poisoned. So that's a nice tactic to have on uh, a Pokemon like this if you're ever so interested in that. So, yeah, pretty neato. And Tentacool has just fainted. Rawr. Oh, cool. So you have another Pokemon under your belt now, aren't you? Thank God this isn't badly poisoned. Kingler! Ooh, interesting. Getting yeah, the more powerful stuff. Uh, go to Bob. Go to Bobby Boy! Come on, Bobby Boy! Dag nabbit, Bobby! What a tell you about trying to get the mower from the agent neighbors! Better watch out for the Kinglers! As they try to... You hit you with them age of pincers and the whatnots or something. I don't know where I was going with that at all. You have craptastic special defense, so Mega Drain is the easy choice for you. Kingler is something a kind of a Pokemon I've always been intrigued by. Yeah, it was pretty bad in the original games, but hey, at least now it's a little bit more powerful since it can actually use proper physical attacks and Crab Hammer is a lot more reliable now too, which is awesome. Okay. So, you got ourselves an important battle here coming up very soon. Um, you use a full heal. I can't really say this is an important battle, but just like a nice optional battle if you wanted to have, you know, like two Snorlaxes. Uh, but hey, we can always go ahead and try. And I'm thinking we move uh, Juggernaut to the front because... I don't think it's going to have moves that'll be super effective on Pinsir. Not by a long shot. So we're just going to move you up to the front here. Uh, that's not where I wanted you, but okay, sure. You can move Taco back that way. So yeah, here you go. Bring on the Juggernauts. I'm just going to go ahead and save real quick here. Just so that nothing bad ever happens. You never know. And let's go ahead and talk to this Norlax here. Uh, excuse me there. A Pokemon sprawled out in the deep and comfortable slumber. Do you want to use a pocket flute? Yes, I do. Snorlax woke up. Snorlax best took you for a food and attacked. Oh no, not again. We've got another Wild Snorlax boss, and it's Attack Rose. That means it's going to do a lot more damage. Awesome. Well, not really awesome, but hey, whatever. So if you didn't uh, pick up a Snorlax earlier and missed your chance of trying to catch a Snorlax and didn't save from your last fight, hey, this is a viable option for you here, too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and follow up with Swords Dance. That way I can do a whole lot more damage than what you're trying to do. That Swords Dance animation looks so awesome. All right, nicely done. Oh, this music's so awesome. Wow. 
One shot, baby. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and try to catch a Snorlax. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Raspberry on you. And now it's gonna be just a little bit easier to do it. No. Wait for it, wait for it. Hacha! Excellent! What an excellent capture that was to our perk, I mean not. Wonderful. If I don't catch this one, oh well, that's totally fine. I like how it just bops off on his belly like that. Perfect. Great! Come on! Oh. Again, it's no huge loss if I don't catch this one. It's totally fine. One. Two. Nope. What a shame. It seemed like it was close to catching two. You really want to go through all my Ultra Balls now, don't you, Snorlax, eh? One. Two. Nope. Seem to be stuck at two now. Come on. Excellent! Alright, this has to be it right here. One. Two. Come on! That was an excellent throw. Oh, man. Ah, oh, come on! There you go. Excellent. Like I said, the shorter the ring... The better chance that you have of capturing a Snorlax, yeah! It wasn't even that small, but it still counted as excellent, so haha. -ha. And I got health candy! Uh, Venusaur is now up to level 43, or Bob, and Roxanne is at level 38. She's getting up there, she's getting up there in the levels. You tuck Snorlax away. Awesome. Now I just have to get through the rest of these routes. Which is going to be so much fun. You know what? Let's go ahead. Taco has never been up in the front for a while. Actually, no. It'd probably not be a good idea to do that quite yet since you're still, like, so overleveled. We're just going to do this. Your partner sure is cute. Let's have a battle. Aw, oh, thanks. What do you got? Ace Trainer Zack. Well, where's Ace Trainer Cody, huh? Right, let's see what it did there. Tangle up? Oh yeah, Juggernaut can totally take care of this. With my almighty x -scissor. Does it do it the job? It most certainly does. Oh, and you're only measly level 28? Oh, pfft. Well then, what's the point of fighting all these other trainers anyway, since you're getting your craptastic experience points? Onyx. Alright. Uh... Daisy, then. Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes, baby! I know you can do it! Wah well, wah, it says. God, I love Ogs is crying, it's so awesome. Service up, yo! Alright. There we go, this is a simple level 29 Onyx. Nothing too shabby, nothing that we can't really handle. And if we couldn't, well, then we're be in a heap of trouble. Daisy is now level 42. Awesome. I wonder how close it is to learning Hydro Pump. Could you imagine upon like saying that that Daisy would be like, oh, by the way, I'm trying to learn a Hydro Pump. Hey, five Ultra Balls. Thanks. I need the refill. You got three Ultra Balls under their belts. There's really no reason of me trying to fight all these other trainers here because, well, they're just absolutely weak, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip these guys, and just you know, grab whatever items that we need around here. Which, this one is going to be a repel. And how much you want to bet? Let's see if I can avoid. Avoid. Excellent. Eevee, is there any items around here? None? Oh, come on, Eevee! You had a nice swirly time, and now you're having problems with your item deciphering or something? Come on, Eevee. Alright, go over here. There we go. We found a lure. Well, I guess that's something, I guess. Awesome. And you're gonna keep staring around? Probably not. Are you a trainer? You're probably a trainer. I'm not gonna take the risk on that. Eh. Probably not worth it. Going out into this door over here will give you the access to the other side of a route 11, or route 12, or something or other. 
There's a look at area upstairs with binoculars. The view is magnificent. So I've heard. So I've heard. No professor over here at all. A forgetful old man lives on Route 12, or so I hear. No move to leaders at all either. My Pokemon's ashes are resting in the Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. We got TM50 Roost. It's an excellent flying type move that heals half of your HP and return for free and susceptible to ground type moves for that turn. Very reliable flying type move. There's a fishing man. And what about checking out these binoculars? Uh, it's the Pokemon Tower. Oh my god, the Pokemon Tower! I gotta check it out! No, I'm just kidding, we've already been there. We don't need- I have no reason to go back in there at all. Well, at least not yet. At least to my knowledge. I hope there isn't anything else to go there. You know, something will like pop up in the aftergame or something. And this area will have us an item, maybe? Come on. Are you serious? No items around here? Oh, come on. Really? Really, my dude? Not even like a small island or anything like that. Route 12, North and Lavender Town. All right, well, there we go. We've made it back over here to Lavender Town in no problem whatsoever. Cool. So I guess that's it. That's the long way to getting from uh, Lavender Town all the way to Fuchsia City, even though I did it in reverse order, but hey, you know, whatever. We were still get able to get some nice levels throughout all of our Pokemon, Roxanne accepted. But hey, again, Roxanne is going to get stronger. Don't worry, it just takes a while for her to get stronger. So be patient with her, please be patient. Anyways though, with that being said, we are now done with everything that we can do for right now. And I say next time on Let's Go Pokemon, Let's Go Eevee, we are going to be heading back to Fuchsia City and challenge the Fuchsia City Gym Leader in hopes of getting our fifth badge. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys here next time for more Let's Go Eevee. Bye!